Welcome to Maths Mathematics with M's, Grade 11, Exponential Equations with Rational Exponents. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Right, let's consider the equation x to the power a half equals to 4. Now, by raising both sides to the power 2, we'll be able to solve for x. So, if you multiply the a half on the left hand side by 2, then of course you must do the same on the right hand side in order to balance your equation. So therefore a half times 2 is x to the power 1 and 4 squared is 16. Consider the next one x to the power 1 third equals to 3. So the same here, you multiply both sides by the exponent 3 and then you'll get 3 to the third gives you x to the power 1 and 3 to the power 3 is 27. And of course also, a note that it is clear that x to the power half is not equal to negative 4. Very important that 1 over an x to the power even number is not equal to a negative number. So that you must remember. So consider the equation x to the power equals to negative 4. Then you get multiply both sides to the power 2. Then you get x equals to negative 4 squared 16. Now that works because 2 is even, but if the exponent was odd, then it will not work. However, if you check the solution in the original equation, you'll notice a problem. Left hand side, 16 to the power half is equal to 6 to the power half is equal to 2 to the power 4 to the power half, which is 2 squared, which is 4. And the right hand side is negative 4. So therefore, the left hand side is not equals to the right hand side. So please take note of this exception. Right, let's solve for x. A, x to the power quarter equals to 3. And now we know what to do. Multiply both exponents by 4 on both sides. And then you get 3 to the power 4 is 81. Look at B, x to the power quarter. Again, you'll remember from the previous one. It is an even exponent, 4, so therefore there will be no solution. So don't even try to work it out. Then C, a third, that is, so here we don't have an even number in the denominator of the, of the fractional exponent, so you can proceed as normal, because now 3 is odd, so it should work. So it gives you a negative 3 by 3, which is negative 27. And by checking this answer, you will notice that this answer does in fact satisfy the equation. If you do your substitution and check, and you get negative 3. Note, whenever you have the equation uh, in the form x to the power m over n equals to number, always rewrite the expression as x to the power m over n in the form x to the power 1 over n to the power of m. Right, let's look at more examples. So for x, a, x to the power 2 thirds equals to 4. Now, x to the power 2 thirds equals to 4. So what you can do is you can rewrite it as x to the power 1 third to the power 2. And then you can use the so-called k method. So you say, let x to the power a third be k. Then you get k squared equals to 4. So k squared minus 4 is 0. And now we can factorize a sum and difference. And you get k equals to 2 or k equals to negative 2. And then, of course, you mustn't solve for k, you must solve for x. So you must reintroduce uh, k equals to 2 and minus 2 into the equation. And now you get x to the power 3rd equals to 2. So raised to the power 3, 2 to the power 3 is 8. And on the right hand side, it's odd, so we can accept the negative 2. So negative 2 by 3 gives you negative 8. If you look at b, x to the power 3 over 2 equals to 8. Then we do the same here. 3 over 2, we break up as a half times to the power of 3. Then let x to the power half be k. And then k cubed is 8, so therefore k is 2. Remember the cube root of 8 is 2. Then we reintroduce k back into the equation. Then we get x to the power half equals to 2. So therefore, x to the power a half times 2 on both sides gives you 4. If you look at c, x to the power 2 thirds equals to negative 4. 
So again, split the two thirds as a third times two, and let k be uh, x to the power third, then you get k squared equals to negative four. Well, of course, there's no solution because uh, the square root of a negative four is non-real. So look at d, x to the power three over two equals to minus eight. So again, we split the two, and let k be x to the power half, then k cubed is equal to minus 8. So this is allowed because the cube root of a negative 8 is negative 2. And then we can, but be careful now. If we reintroduce the minus 2, then x to the power half will be an even number. So therefore, it's not going to work. So no real solutions. Look at E. 3x to the power minus 2 thirds equals to 27. Then what we do here is, <coughs> sorry, we divide by 3. Divide both sides by 3. Then again, split uh, 2 thirds as minus a third times 2. Let k be x to the power minus 1 third. Then k squared is 9. So therefore, k squared is minus 9, 0. Then sum in difference, k plus 3, k minus 3. So k, therefore, k is a minus 3 or k is a plus 3. Then we re-substitute back into the equation. Then we get x to the power minus a third equals to th minus 3. Then we multiply both sides with a minus 3 as an exponent. And then we get x equals to 1 over minus 3 to the power plus 3. Remember, bring it down and you get negative 1 over 27. Or on the other side, x to the power minus 1 equals to a 3. If I raise both sides to the power negative 3, then the 3 power minus 3 must come down to become 3 to the power plus 3. So therefore, 1 over 27. And then f, x to the power half plus x to the power quarter minus 2 equals to 0. So let's, let k be x to the power quarter. Then k squared, or of course, will be x to the power quarter to the power of 2. And that gives you x to the power a half. Then replace x of a quarter with k, then we get k squared plus k equals to minus 2 to 0. So this is a quadratic equation, factorized as normal. Then we get k minus 2 or k plus 1, then reintroduce x back into the equation. Then we get x of a quarter is minus 2. 4 is an even number, so there's no solution. But x of our quarter equals to 1. Of course, in this case, x to any power. If x is a 1, so 1 to any power is 1. Or you can multiply both exponents by 4, and you will still get 1 to the power 4 is 1. Right here, I have an exercise for you to work on. Very important that you need to work through all the examples. Remember, when you get examples with thirds, then please replace the third. But like, like square root of x will be x to the power half, for instance. Uh, cube root of x squared will be x to the power two thirds. So just remember that. And the solutions will be on the next page. Right, here's the solutions to our, our exercise. Like I said, like I always say, make sure you work through all the examples and then check whether your answers correspond with mine. Right, this is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with Ams. Please give me a huge like and subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.